Good morning, folks. We've got the Earth facing quiet flexing as we descend further into the cycle trough. There was another asteroid buzzing between Earth and Moon, and we've got top stories as well. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star. The calm is belied by the enormity of the sunspot group on the disk. And despite its large appearance, it has failed to produce any solar flares and has maintained much of the thin spread it had yesterday, especially in the magnetic profile of the active region, still split side to side. Solar wind spent the last day decreasing intensity as well. We are entering ambient quiet solar wind conditions and the same in Earth's magnetic system. Looking at our star in 211 angstroms, it is still reasonable to think the northern opening could impact Earth with its solar wind stream. It would be midweek here in a few days. So 2018 HV, not a terribly large rocket about the size of a large pickup, but it was only discovered on the 21st and less than 24 hours later it broke through the Earth's orbital plane only 40% of the distance to the moon. This one again came over Earth's North Pole, with similar tilted elliptical orbit as we saw with the last close call, and as with the last one, this doesn't actually have an orbit that can impact Earth in the future, but it once again elucidates how many of these asteroids are not discovered until they are right on our heels. Top quakes of the last day were mid-range in Indonesia. The interesting part was the major depth to one of the quakes, definitely struck the transition zone of the mantle on the deep one. We also have alerts rising in Japan due to increased quakes, gas emissions, and ground rising deformation. The volcano is set to erupt, they believe. Up next, we're going to look at some of the images from the UK's Southampton flooding, which is now draining out, but as many of you saw last night, they do have more coming in about a week. Lastly, folks, an excellent bit of science, but with a name confusion guaranteed to cause even more confusion in our community. It turns out the LSS telescope will be able to conclusively confirm or deny the existence of Planet X in our outer solar system. The problem is, they meant Planet 9. The stable orbit object stuck out there for good, but they have used the Planet X name which refers to that hypothetical incoming solar system sometimes called Nibiru. Please don't be confused. They got confused with the name. They are indeed describing the search for Planet 9. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.